Hello everyone, welcome to Jobs Tracker. Today we are going to discuss the Java developer interview questions that were asked in the Accenture interview and the candidate was selected after answering all the questions for a package of 12 lakh rupees CTC. So we are going to discuss all these questions in our today's video. So let us move forward. The first question that was asked is what is basically Java 8 and the features of Java 8. Okay. So basically most of the times interviewer asks you to rate yourself in uh, like Java basically like 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. So you have to tell them the rating that you give yourself for the Java and Java 8. Okay. Now Java 8 and Java features you might be already knowing that is stream API uh, like optional classes and then uh, lambda expressions and a lot of other things. Right. So you can tell them about that. The second question that was asked to the candidate was how to get a list of employees who join between 1st of April to 30th of June using Stream API. You can make use of filter or any other uh, like uh, basically API that was that is provided. Okay. Any method that is provided that any function that is provided in Stream API. Okay. Similarly, there was one SQL query that the candidate was asked to write that is query to get a list of employees who joined between 1st of April and 30th of June. Okay. The next question that was asked is difference between for each in collection and for each in stream. So you have to answer this question. I know that this is one of the tricky questions when you look at it first, but then if you know the core concept of for each loop and then for each in stream, you will understand everything. Okay. Now the next question that was asked is what is the deployment process in your current project and what is CI CD? Are you following any CI CD methodology or any your application that you are using like Jenkins, your Docker, Kubernetes, okay, other applications that you are using. If you are using cloud, you can tell them about that. You are working on cloud also. Okay. Next question that was asked in the interview is Java question basically. That is you are given a string containing just the characters like open and close parenthesis. Then you have to find the length of the longest valid, okay, well format a parenthesis substring. Okay. For example, in this question, first you can see that the what let me just turn on the pointer. Um, where is the pointer? Yes, here is the pointer. Here you can see that it is parenthesis open and close. Okay, this is one. So here you have to find the longest length of valid. Okay, that is two. In the second uh, example, okay, explanation is given. Uh, you can go and check it out. But in the second input, you are getting two brackets, open and close. Here you will find that the longest valid parenthesis substring is like start and end. Okay, basically this is uh, written not written correctly, which has the length four. So you can use stack to solve this problem. Okay, I hope that this point is clear. Then the next question that was asked is you have array list list of car. Okay, so guys, uh, we are putting in a lot of efforts to create all these videos to connect with people who are giving interviews at different companies, understanding the questions that were asked, maybe providing the solution also in the future, right? So please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have already not done that. And don't forget to share this video with all of your friends who are preparing for Java development interviews. Okay, so in that list that you have 100 objects of class car. From that list, you have to find the object as car car x right so you can go and uh, maybe this solution they might be want to check how you will use the equals method okay uh, that is defined uh, or that is uh, coming from the object class or whether you have defined it in the car class okay so basically this is what they want to check now the next question comes from spring boot what is primary and qualifier basically the candidate was also asked about why spring boot was used over spring or over any other framework and like what what was gsp and what was servlets and then why everyone moved to spring boot okay so this question i have missed to write in this ppt so you can note down that also so spring boot is rapid application development like code redundancy is not there then boilerplate code is removed okay bean management and lifecycle management is very easy and it is very scalable and uh, easy for uh, like uh, creating complex applications so you can tell them that okay the next question that was asked is what are rest api and what does stateless mean okay there was one more question that was asked before uh, this question was being asked that is what is rest api and what is soap api what is the difference between them and what does the term stateless mean so you will have to explain that in detail also one more thing i missed to add that point here also the candidate was asked to write an api in notepad so that candidate was asked basically to write a rest api or rather i will i will say a controller class okay in uh, notepad basically so you should know you should have a clear understanding of how does the how to write an api uh, in spring boot basically you have to use different annotations right so that you have to keep in mind i hope that the, all the points were clear all the questions that i have told and discussed with you are clear to you guys please subscribe to our youtube channel if you want us to create more such informative videos for all of you guys
ओके कीप वॉचिंग जॉब स्ट्राइकर थैंक यू अगेन